Hello Virgo, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into your seven day twin flame outlook. <clears throat> connection, look into a connection that you have with special someone in your life. Um, they may be coming in and maybe a new relationship, maybe one that's been going for a while. Whatever the case is, we're going to look at it. We're going to look at your cards, Virgo. So let's get right into it. Show me Virgo for the next seven days. And then we'll pull some clarifiers. All right, Virgo, you're coming in as the Wheel of Fortune. You desire, you see them as death, Scorpio. You desire Five of Swords, and what needs to happen is Emperor Energy. They come in as King of Wands. They see you as judgment. They desire Five also of Wands, and what needs to happen is here a fan for them. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is a Four of Cups. So someone here is not wanting to play ball, right? Uh, someone in this connection doesn't want doesn't want it anymore. They don't want this cup anymore that's being handed to them. Let's take a look at this. This is interesting. What you both desire, you have fives in that position. So there is a power struggle here, Virgo. Um, what's happening for you? Wheel of Fortune for them, King of Wands. Well, for you right now, everything is coming in. Opportunities are beginning to come in for you over this next seven-day period that are impacting your connection with this person. Okay. Uh, these opportunities could be personal. They could be in business or money or whatever it is you're doing. But there's these are these are special opportunities that are coming in, and that will be affecting really the whole of your life. But more than anything, they will be affecting the course of this relationship. Um, and we're going to take a deeper look at what that all means for you, right? Um, and for your person, they're coming in as a King of Wands. So they're wanting to take the lead. They're wanting to dominate. They're wanting to kind of go their own way, right? Um, it's interesting because this relationship feels like it may, this connection feels like it, it may possibly be going in two different directions, especially with that four of cups at the bottom of the deck. But they have a vision right now for their lives, right? Um, and they are absolutely determined to follow this vision, King of Wands energy. Right. Um, and they're being very actionary about it. You're definitely dealing with somebody who is used to accomplishing what they want. They may be a little bit arrogant. You know, sometimes the shadow side of the King of Wands is a bit of arrogance. Right. A, a bit of childishness. Making rash decisions. Right. But for the most part, they are very much determined and beginning to put certainly in place their plan for this vision. Now, how do you guys see each other? Here's where it gets interesting. You see them as death. It's the card for Scorpio and judgment. Here's how they see you. So judgment is all about really... So for some decks, it's called karma. This, this card is the card for karma. But it's about sort of uh, being put in somebody else's shoes, getting sort of... And when we think of karma, a lot of times we think of payback, payback. Everybody's like, oh, karma is a bitch. But... You know, judgment it, it takes a deeper look into the aspect of it. It's much more about having the same experiences that you have judged from the outside and now experiencing them for yourself. And sort of there is a feeling of understanding that comes in. And yes, of course, there is a balancing, you know, when it comes to karma. But more than anything, it is always a learning process. And oftentimes with judgment, this energy also comes a desire to reconcile. Because it's like, oh, you know, now I know what you went through, right? Now I know. Or now I know what it feels like to be in this situation. Let me also be forgiven. Now, for you, you see them as death. So there is a loss here. And this is what I'm this is what I was saying about this energy with you two are kind of it's like you guys are going in two different directions. For to a certain degree, they are realizing uh, something about your experience, but for you it's over. Right? For you, there's a death there with them. Um, I think that there has been love has been lost somewhere along the line. Four of Cups, oh look, there's two swords underneath the decisions. But love has been lost somewhere along the line here. And for death to come in as the card of, for, for, you, for what you see in them, there is definitely a shift, a huge shift here. 
And, and, and the shift with death is one of loss, right? Because death and dying, decay, separation, it, it's, it's about a taking away so that you can make room for something new. So something has been taken out of this connection. And then when we look at what you both desire, we go even further. It's interesting. What you desire is to give up. You're done. Five of swords. You're ready to pack it in. You feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't play fairly and you just can't win with them. They, however, want to continue to bicker and argue. Five of wands energy, right? So this is still about a power dynamic. Um, you know, it's, it's still about a sort of, uh, I want to say a power not even so much a grab, right? But just just kind of a butting of heads here. You don't want it. You're done. Five of Swords energy, again, you're ready to pack it in. Four of Cups. You don't want any more of it. And Five of Swords is the card for defeat. But defeat in as much as you're realizing that you don't want to play, you don't want to be in this battle with this person. You just, because you know you can't win. And being in the battle in and of itself is taking you somewhere that you don't want to be. Nevertheless, they want to keep bickering. They want to keep sort of, you know, Five of Wands is also a real ego card. It's, it's, it's a lot of ego tripping. It's a lot of sort of jockeying for position, who's better. So there's a feeling of competition here, right? Even though that they see you as judgment here, right? Um, it could be that they, they, want, they want to reconcile. You may have broken up with this person. And they're wanting to reconcile. They may be feeling like, oh, okay, now I'm ready. But you're done. And also with these opportunities, with the Wheel of Fortune turning for you, things are coming in quickly that are going to even pull you further towards where you want to be and further away from where you don't want to be, right? And it feels very much like this is the relationship where you're kind of done with this. What needs to happen? Well, for you, Emperor, right, to, you know, divine masculine energy sort of saying, look, this is where I'm going to go, right? Taking charge, taking the lead, dominating, right? You may be dealing with somebody who plays a lot of games, a lot of emotional games, and back and forth. And this, if indeed you are done, then you need to be done. And, um, and in this way, for you, it can be. Maybe you work with them, right? Maybe there is something else that is connecting the two of you together. But the emperor is letting you know that you need to absolutely go out on your own separate and whatever does connect you need, should be you need to take that over right so it feels to me it could be very much like there's other connections that they're kind of i don't want to say blackmailing you with but kind of holding over you uh to insist on continuing right with you in this way and so you can't allow that and, and those things need to be taken over by you Hero fan energy is what needs to happen for them. Interestingly enough, um, the hero fan is order. It is what is accepted. It is, it is traditionality. It is going back to sort of your roots when it comes to what you believe in, your morals, your standards, right? Uh, and, and so for them, it's almost as if they need to get back to uh, who they really are. Right, uh, what they really want, um, perhaps more of a traditional relationship or remembering what is a traditional relationship for them. It could be that they need to go back to their community or their people, right, and sort of be re I don't know, I want to say, you know, to re rebond with 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 what with what or who they were, right. The hero fan oftentimes reminds us to come back to our spiritual roots when we've lost our way also. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the card for commitment, right? It's about commitment, right? And the hero fan also reminds us about, you know, what, what total commitment means. What does total commitment mean? It means being committed in every way. And so sometimes it means also being committed to fixing yourself, right, to healing yourself, to dealing with your own issues. Um, and so this is something that they need to, for them, needs to happen. They absolutely need to kind of go back to, you know, what are they willing to be committed to, right? And it can't just be game playing or bickering, right? Show me some clarity here on this. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you're done. The High Priestess, wow, the moon and the hangman, damn. Right? Okay, Virgo. You're done. You're moving on. You're moving on. And the wheel is turning for you. So opportunities are coming in that are allowing you to move on. Absolutely. Right. 
you may have met somebody else, you may be in the process of meeting somebody else, whatever the case may be, you've had enough with that Eight of Cups. You're beginning to want to put boundaries in place with this person, and you just want to get a different level of interaction, something deeper than what you're dealing with here. High Priestess comes in because they don't really understand you. There is a secrecy here. The High Priestess talks about, she's the keeper of secrets, right? And when we're talking about here, death and judgment, there is there is some kind of secretive behavior that is happening here. Um, and also, to a certain degree, it's as if one of you, and I would say probably you, you, Virgo, is the one who's absolutely the more intuitive. You're the one kind of who's holding all of the secrets and all of the sort of, I want to say knowledge to a certain degree, but you're not giving anything to them. You're not giving anything back to them. So there is a kind of pulling away. There's a kind of separation of spiritual energy here. And more than anything, High Priestess Highest Card for intuitive ability. You already know what is happening and what needs to happen. The moon is coming in because it is a testing phase, right? There's a test here for you with this moon energy. And can you stay, right? Can you stay with your desire to not continue to battle, battle, battle? while they want to keep battling. Moon energy is letting you know that right now all is not necessarily clear, but you are be going through a testing period. And hanged man comes in again. Inspiration needs to happen, right? Uh, there's an inspiration that needs to come in here. Hanged man energy. It reminds me that you have, this is definitely a connection where you've been around this for a while. There's a laziness here where perhaps you have not gotten, have not desired to move on because of Hangman, right? But Hangman comes in right now because you are beginning to be inspired. You are beginning to say, hang on, I want more. I don't want this. I want more. And I've really been hanging in a status quo position for too long with this relationship. It's time for me to get up and out and move. Hangman energy, right? It may have been easy for a while to keep dealing with them, right? But now is the time to put that effort in. And again, because Wheel of Fortune is turning, the hangman comes in once inspiration is hit. So already there are things happening in your life that are drawing you. And it's like, um, it's happening you, it's helping you, excuse me, it's helping you to absolutely break this cycle. Interesting read, Virgo. You've, you've been dealing with this situation for a few weeks. I remember that I've been reading for you, and it's been like this for a while, so I feel like I'm talking about the same connection. It may only resonate for some of you, but this next seven days is going to be a real period where you're going to have to sort of step up and really make those moves because you cannot deny the fact that you're done fighting with them. Something has already been lost. You've made up your mind, and new opportunities are coming in. All right, guys. Virgo, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this reading and you got some clarity out of it. Wow. I, I, I'm curious to see how this one uh, turns out. We shall see next week and the next seven-day reading. But for right now, please like, subscribe, and share. If you like the video, if you got something out of it, that really helps me out. But apart from that, Virgo, have a great week, and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye-bye now.